partnership between Google and Microsoft. I would like to pull that picture here. And I want to understand why are these two gentlemen happy? What exactly are they doing? And what sort of AI revolution are we talking about? <laughs> Amit, I, I want to come to you first. I mean, the two, two most powerful people, at least one of the most powerful people from the world of technology. The world of tech are you hugging each other. <laughs> What's brought them together? Uh, it's probably the largest AI partnership, uh, collaboration of sorts. Uh, it's for the AI community. They want to, what at least what they're saying is, they want to make AI open source free for research and commercial use. Mm -hmm. Now, case to point is basically a, plat uh, a, a platform called Llama 2, which is going to be, uh, be uh, Microsoft is going to have preferred cloud access provider to this. It is now accessible through Mi Microsoft Azure, uh, Amazon Web, and all the platforms on Hugging Face. So that's an AI partnership. According to the statement by Mark Zuckerberg, he says he wants developers and researchers to stress test these platforms so that they can early identify and fix problems faster. Open AI is a developing uh, technology. You do not know what is going to happen, what, what is going uh, to uh, stall it, what problems are going to ha happen. So a crowd collaboration always helps fixing it and developing it faster. Mm -hmm. And that is why this collaboration. Mm -hmm. Karthik. And is this my, I think, big question is, and everybody who's watching perhaps would want to know, is this going to be a, a competition to chat GPT? Is it going to compete with chat GPT in magnitude, in its answers? It's going are to we develop looking it faster is what I can uh, uh, foresee. Okay. Though I am not a developer, huh? my knowledge is limited. But as a user, what, yeah, as what a user, do I get out of Llama the, as opposed have, to ChatGPT? Yeah, so th that is a detail that I'll have to study. But right now, what they have spoken about is Llama 2. It is an open uh, source uh, uh, platform. I believe it is going to even enhance the performance of platforms like ChatGPT. Okay. So essentially, it's free. That's that's one takeaway. Essentially, it's free. Essentially, it is generative AI, which means it's going to generate text-based responses, uh, not images yet, from what we know. Um, it is going to be apparently very helpful in coding. So mm -hmm. you will be able to write languages and volumes of code in fractions of second. But hey, so can uh, chat GPT, right? Now, just look at the games at play in Silicon Valley. Microsoft is one of the lead investors in OpenAI, which runs ChatGPT. Mm. $10 billion, no less, was invested by Microsoft into in ChatGPT, mm. into OpenAI that mm. develops ChatGPT. And, uh, and that made it among the most valuable startups uh, you know, uh, in, in the world. Mm. Now, uh, on the back of that existing deal, mm. there is another partnership with Meta mm -hmm. on deployment of OpenAI. Now you're talking about a tripartite development here where Microsoft is the fulcrum, which has made one investment in open AI and now partnering with a competitor of chat GPT. So what is going on here? I, 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 what, what I would like to... Uh, they want it to be a win-win situation. <laughs> so it's definitely a win-win situation for Microsoft, right. which will have access to the technology at play for OpenAI mm -hmm. and will have access to, if not the code, at least the thinking mm -hmm. behind distribution of this technology within the social media ambit of Meta. So mm -hmm. will you have AI generative content available now mm -hmm. on Facebook, on Instagram, on threads, mm -hmm. on WhatsApp? Right. These are the companies that Mark Zuckerberg leads because they're part of the Meta ambit. Mm -hmm. And Microsoft now partnering on Llama and Llama 2. Llama 2 is going to be text-based, which I think is an immediate response to ChatGPT. Mm. Llama was supposed to be pure play, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, generative AI. But uh, ChatGPT made it interactive, made AI interactive. You could raise questions, further your discussion with an existing bot who would understand the conversation happened thus far and respond accordingly. Now, Llama 2 comes in direct response to ChatGPT and GPT-4, which is the ultimate version of ChatGPT as we know it. Mm -hmm. All of this happens also at a time when new users and activity on ChatGPT declines sequentially. So last month we saw a decline in usage of ChatGPT, which was among the most among the fastest rising apps until Threads owned by Zuckerberg beat ChatGPT down, and Threads became the most downloaded uh, app. Mm. Right. So the games at play are interesting. I think uh, technology leaders out there have understood 
that in isolation, it'll be very difficult to compete with the behemoth called Google. Mm -hmm. Google Bart not been successful yet, but Google at the end of the day is Google. And, and I think it has uh, an advantage in AI and machine learning, mm -hmm. uh, you know, of, uh, of many years mm -hmm. over these new entrants of OpenAI, Microsoft, etc. So I think Microsoft, uh, OpenAI and Meta together are trying to form this caucus, which can give Google and Google Bard specifically a run for its mm -hmm. money. And I think in all of this, Microsoft's position is unique, uh, as you correctly pointed out. It's putting its money where the mouth is, which is literally everywhere. Yeah. It wants to win through uh, entity A and through entity B, and whichever wins it at the end of it, Microsoft wins. So I think Microsoft has more skin in the game, specifically because Microsoft and Google mm. command the entire uh, you know OS business. If you keep Apple aside, mm. it's Microsoft and Google which command OS respectively on desktops and mobile phones. Mm -hmm. So I think there is a direct competition brewing there. And Absolutely. then even on the search engine, Bing versus Chrome. Mm. So there is a lot more at stake and, for Microsoft. And, and very little competition come to think of it because Chrome has majority true, of the business. True, true. No, Bing has also reached uh, you know uh, uh, good numbers. Less than seven percent. But it's six. also yeah, but it's also a newer entrant when right. Chrome had already occupied the market. So mm -hmm. it seems that overall Microsoft will uh, faces immense competition from Google, and it needs to get its AI game right. And mm -hmm. whatever it takes, whether it is a ten billion dollar investment into ChatGPT mm -hmm. or uh, uh, or a deal with uh, Mark Zuckerberg, which gives access to not just Llama too, but the entire social media ambit, mm -hmm. which runs incidentally on mobile phones, which are powered by Google's Android. Mm -hmm. But I think if Microsoft Microsoft gets its game right on AI, then there is some survival chance all right. for Sat the future. Satya Nadella showing all his cards there as he shakes hands with Mark Zuckerberg for one of the largest AI deal. If you are wondering what Llama is, you can watch this segment again. And remember, we told you first. But with that, it's a wrap on this edition. Thanks very much for watching.